Hey everybody, it's Lon Sivan, and we're here today with the Epson DS510 Workforce High Speed Document Scanner. This is it right here. It is very similar to the Fujitsu ScanSnap iX500 I reviewed a few months ago, so check out that review because I'm going to do some comparisons. Uh, like the Fujitsu, it folds up into a pretty nice uh, small size here when it's on your desk and not in use. Uh, there isn't much to it on the back. There's a power cord and a USB connection to your computer. There is no networking on this one, so uh, you're not able to uh, use it with a mobile device like an iPhone or an Android dev device like you can do on the Fujitsu. It is strictly uh, to the computer that it is plugged into. Uh, there is software available for the Mac and Windows. My only uh, caution is that uh, the software on the CD is not available on Epson's website. So if you're using a Mac uh, that doesn't have an optical drive and you have no access to an optical drive, you may want to call ahead to Epson and try to figure out a strategy uh, for getting the software loaded on your computer because it is just simply not available on the website. There is a, a scanner driver available, but it doesn't have all the functionality that I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. So uh, keep that in mind if you are a Mac user or a Windows user using one of the uh, tablets that uh, don't have those uh, little optical drives on there anymore either. So uh, this is it here. And what we're going to do is load in, I've got a couple of pages of documents here that we're going to pop in and do a test of. And we're going to uh, cut over to my computer now so you can uh, see what the software looks like. And uh, it isn't much to see, but it does do the job. It looks the same on the Mac and Windows. It's pretty much the same. So we're only going to look at the Mac version today. Uh, there is uh, a couple of options up here, and we're going to do the Evernote option when we get to the end of the line. Uh, so you want to have Evernote loaded. Um, now, now there's two ways to scan. You can do a quick scan here where you just hit Start Job, and we have a setup already here that will scan a PDF and drop it into my Documents folder. But you have another option uh, where you can scan the document and bring it into the software. So uh, I'm going to click Scan here, and then I'm going to cut back to the scanner so you can see how fast the scanner operates, because unfortunately the software doesn't work at the same speed. Before we do that, though, we have a couple of options here. So uh, you can set uh, the source of the paper, which in this case is only going to be the ADF, because that's all this has. Uh, we're going to say double-sided, because a few of the documents in here have two sides to them. Uh, document size, we're going to set to auto-detect. The image type, we're going to leave as auto. Rotation, none. We're going to do the medium resolution. This is what they say will get about uh, 26 pages per minute scan speed. So uh, we're going to leave it at that setting. Uh, we're going to have it enhance the text. We're going to have it correct it, uh, the skew in case the document come, gets in a little cockeyed when it scans it. And we're going to skip any blank pages that it detects. So I'm going to uh, click scan here. And, uh, and we'll watch it scan its way through everything. Uh, for some reason on the Mac, the button here doesn't work. So it does work on Windows. I configured everything the way they told me to. And unfortunately, it just doesn't seem to work when I push the button on the Mac side. On the Windows side, it works fine. Uh, so once you scan the document, there's a little bit of a delay here because it has to process everything. And this takes a while. And this is something on the Fujitsu that I didn't see it do. It was uh, much faster on the Fujitsu to get documents ingested into your computer. Uh, this one takes a while. I'm not sure if it's just because we asked it to do all that de-skewing and everything else. But the Fujitsu does that too, and it just seems like it takes longer. Uh, it did have one miss, uh, misfire on the, uh, this, this, the paper blank pa page detections here. So we're just going to uh, take that one out of here. Now, uh, the document is loaded in the software, but it hasn't yet saved it to disk. So I've got some options here. I can go ahead and save it. I can print it. I can email it. I can uh, send it by FTP if you're still using that. I still do. Uh, WebDAV. Uh, we can send it over to Google Docs. Um, we can sugar sync it. And it also goes to Evernote. And we're going to try the Evernote option here. Now, what will happen is, is if you have Evernote loaded, uh, it will automatically uh, pull it. Well, actually, hit the refresh button here. Uh, it'll pull in your, uh, note, your notebooks when you uh, run it. So um, I, have, uh, I hit that refresh button already. So I'm going to just dump it in my taxes folder here and hit send. And what it'll do is it'll process that document, uh, save it, and then fire it over to Evernote, where I can then uh, ingest it into my uh, system over there. And I am a very big Evernote user. But you can see it just takes a while. There's more processing going on here. Uh, we're kind of waiting for it to do its thing. And now it's going to hopefully uh, shoot it over to Evernote, although I don't know if it got there or not. So. Finally made it over to Evernote, uh, but it didn't really give me a confirmation that it sent the file to Evernote. I had to go in and check. So I think the better workflow might be uh, to scan those files to disk and then drag them over manually. I think that's probably a, probably even a faster workflow than working within the software. Overall, I think it's a good scanner. It is hindered by its software. As you saw, uh, that image processing took forever uh, when we scanned. So although the scanner is you know, firing documents in very quickly, uh, the software is really lagging behind and putting those documents into the computer where you're actually going to need to work with them. That's one area where the scan snap is a lot faster. The iX500 really does not have that 
uh, that lag at all. It's just putting documents right in and you can keep on working. So I think they need to improve the software significantly. Image quality as compared to the ScanSnap is pretty similar. The ScanSnap is slightly nicer uh, in how it scans documents at the same resolution. As you can see here, I do a little head to head of both. And it's hard to really make out a big difference, but it is, if you look at it closely enough, you'll see the scan snap is just slightly better, but I'm not really going to uh, uh, make a judgment there. Um, but beyond that, I think it's an okay scanner. The price is certainly less than, than its competing devices might be for this scan speed. So if you're looking for speed and not looking to spend a lot of money and you don't need the wireless networking, uh, this will certainly uh, fit the bill, but you will be waiting a little bit as those documents come over. So that is the Epson DS510, and I am Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.